As Ken Crates are in Nourishell today, I have a chance to talk with a good friend, Jim Kilorn, who's the executive director of Habitat for Humanity. He's been doing a tremendous amount of work in a lot of places, both locally and in, in uh, places that really struggled around the world. And he's doing a lot of work for veterans. And Jim, maybe just tell us a little bit about how you got into this, into working at Habitat for Humanity. Well, really, my, my faith is the, the prime mover. And in a way, that, that kind of motivates us with uh, helping the soldiers. You know, we say no matter what religion you are, we can all believe in the theology of the hammer. That if Jews and Christians and Muslims all built together and, and agreed upon uh, helping in the love of God, that every person can live in a simple, decent home. The founder of Habitat, Millard Fuller, was a close friend. And I've been with them for 30 years. Been with presidents, been in the White House, built all over the world. In New York, it's really the toughest place to build. We're the most exited state in the country, according to a magazine article by Forbes two weeks ago. And so our mission needs a lot of God's help, if you will. And we will we are committed to build simple, decent homes for families and intergenerational New York and every veteran a home and a job. I just want to ask you, you did a lot of work after Hurricane Sandy uh, out on Long Island, and uh, I know there's continued needs there. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, how Habitat for Humanity approached the, the effort after Sandy. Well, really, everything that happened in the floods of 2007 in Mamaroneck was really practice for what happened in Hurricane Sandy. Here we got hit and a lot of trees were down. We cut a lot of trees and removed them from families' homes. And then I got a call from my high school buddy, uh, CFO is Tony Music. He said, can you bring generators and pumps to the Rockways in Bell Harbor where he lives? And I went out there, and it was a war zone. It looked like Hurricane Katrina. Uh, I, met, I was there. I would go out every single day bringing contractor bags. And within a week's time, I had replicated on a larger scale. I talked to Senator Schumer, the fire chief, a number of people in key positions. I said, can we set up? I can bring armies of volunteers to help. And 16 months later, we've had 8,000 volunteers, which uh, uh, equals about $8 million in volunteer labor, according to FEMA disaster. We have a staff out there. And really, you, it, we're in the second year of the recovery. So every day, we, I have people building there now. I went out there every day for nine months. And so we are the one of the lead rebuilders of Hurricane Standy to this day. And we're actually going to kick off a spring and summer of Sandy recovery. Everyone thinks families are back in. There's 29,000 families can still not back into their homes from Hurricane Sandy. And I got to tell you, without the power of volunteerism, I mean, the government is really strained. The importance of volunteerism is only going to rise for the future uh, because uh, bo our boots on the ground, if you will, are our volunteers. And I have armies of people. I had 15,000 volunteers from Westchester to the Rockways last year, and that number is increasing. If every church and synagogue, every company, every high school group, every viewer just comes out and volunteers once a month, imagine what difference that would make in every community we live in in New York. Absolutely, and taking care of veterans and looking after veterans' housing is a, is a, is a big concern and uh, an area for you. Tell us about some of the projects you've got to help veterans with housing. Well, for years, we've been repairing seniors' homes, you know, in the highest tax county in the country. Once someone gets on a fixed income, no matter what your, your pension is, it's hard to repair your home. So we've, we've helped seniors repair their homes for veterans. We've also gone to Montrose for years with brand new winter coats that a CEO donates to me. And, and so we've had that relationship. But now with all the veterans coming home, the young veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan, we've created, created a strong young veterans club. I've hired veterans who you met. I just met uh, an Army uh, person, wounded warrior, who was my assistant, uh, John, who was Navy, Kandahar. Uh, and, and we have an aggressive veterans outreach. We've been speaking at every college, every legion. And we're building welcome home houses for veterans. The first house is going to, the family's going to move in in May. Two Marines who met in Iraq, they have two kids. They live in a tough neighborhood in Yonkers. We're going to move them into the neighborhood we call Battle Hill. Uh, so veterans will have pride, identity, beautify the neighborhood. There are twenty more than 2,000 foreclosures in this county. My dream is that those will be taken by Habitat. We rehab them. We get veterans back in there for those houses that are empty and help every veteran to come home to a job and a house. 
We've hired veterans in our restores, in our organization. We want every viewer and every company to do the same like it used to be for World War II vets. And we want to make that um, uh, happen this year. And I only also want to give a shout out to the Vietnam vets. As you know, it's the year of the Vietnam veterans, and we're really uh, proud and honored to, to uh, have our commander, Jim Lassen, who's on our board of directors. And then also a shout out to 99-year-old, and I forget his name, his birthday is at the American Legion. He's a veteran. He was at the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, Bill Moyes, and uh, his birthday party is Sunday at the American Legion in Rochelle. That's great. You've had, a, a, as you said, a tremendous uh, uh, outpouring of support from various schools and organizations. I know uh, you mentioned uh, some West Point cadets coming down uh, shortly to uh, help on a project. Just mention some of the groups that you're working with. Yeah, I mean, for 15 years, West Point cadets have come out and volunteer with me, which is amazing. They'll be out on the sites April 5th and April 19th. This morning I had Dominican College and Monroe College volunteering. I just got an email from the Iona athletic director. I'll be with him Monday at three o'clock, just sending every one of their Iona uh, staff out. You know, we're in a world that the kids think that the 10 fingers were made for texting. We think they were made for building and growing food first. And really, we think every youth in America should, should learn how to build. During World War II, 20 million people had, 20 million people had victory gardens. We need to have victories in our neighborhood. We're looking at the 50th anniversary of the war on poverty. We should have won it here by now. Ownership and habitat, and I have seen this in my lifetime, ownership transforms neighborhoods. As families own a home or a condo, education goes up, crime goes down. As green goes up in community gardens and we donate and build these planters, neighborhoods get beautified. We call it NMU, No More Ugly. And volunteers were teaching kids to appreciate their neighbor. So we have a marching band whose fa the kid's father was uh, in the military, 17 brothers and sisters. They come from one of the lowest income neighborhoods in the county. We buy every instrument, every outfit. 50 kids are in the band. They can't be in the band if they don't do community service in their neighborhood. So that's the ethos of what I always dream like it was during World War II, where everyone had this passion and you were either either Rosie the Riveter or you, you were going over to fight. And everyone just kind of came together again. I think we're in that the most important time in the history of our country to rebuild it. And we can do it again. And we have to make things here in this country as well. I think we have to teach everyone to make things. I want to make furniture. We have, we're making furniture out of uh, used pallets, which has oak in it. We have two restores that have we reuse things and resell, and that's another way, creative way we generate income. So um, it's a critical time for this country, but we want everyone to have boots on the ground. And if everyone goes out and volunteers at some point, because we're all put on this earth to help one another, then we'll get it done and we'll have a better, stronger America, and every soldier will have a home and a job to go with it. And Jim Kalorn of Habitat for Humanity here in Westchester County. How can people... Find out more information, your website, and if they would like to donate to your efforts, how can they do that? Yes, please. We, we can, we're kicking off the next 25 years. We're hitting it hard. Go to HabitatWC.org. Make a donation. Habitat for Many of Westchester Facebook, Habitat for Veterans Facebook, or Habitat WC on Twitter and Instagram. You know, um, we, it goes in, it goes out. If someone walks in here today and, and they need help on their home, we send a person out the next day and say, how can we help? If a veteran walks in today, we try to call someone immediately on how they could get hired. We put them on the application list. We can take it back in our neighborhood and make a better Westchester in New York. And it all starts with the power of one, the power of your viewers, the power of your show, the power of me, Habitat, and just getting it done and, and bringing back that feeling of pride and the importance of the flag and I always think in the Bible, the centurion was the person, the soldier, that God said had the most faith. And I have a lot of good discussions with, the, with my veterans that are here every day. And they talk about how important that is and how important it is for veterans to feel like they're welcomed home. So let's make it happen and celebrate it together. Jim Kalorn of Habitat for Humanity, thank you for all you do for the community. And thank you for all that you are doing for our veterans. Well, Ken, your show has been a beacon of light to to keep elevated the importance of veterans, what they do from every holiday and every time someone listens to it. And again, HabitatWC.org. Hit it. We love you. God bless.
At Jim Killorn, Habitat for Humanity, this is Ken Kratzer in New Rochelle for WVOX and Sons of the American Legion Radio.